Spyro 103 here. Welcome back to my playthrough on Spyro 1 HD. Last time we realized that the dragons were turned into stone by an evil guy named Matthew York, and this time we are going to go ahead and head into the very first level of the game, which I just realized is not here. Back then, I always used to go to this level when I played the original version, but in reality, the first like real level, I guess, that I like to call it, is actually right here, and it's Stone Hill. So, yeah, let's head in. So yeah, there are these little sections you can like mix from and do stuff. Like look, at, look at him. He just looks ridiculous. You okay, Miss Spiral? You look like you've seen. You look really, really weird. <laughs> look like you've seen some things. All right, here we are. So yeah, just gotta do this. Now these chests can be opened by any method, no matter what method you like to do, so yeah. Oh, sheep. Poor little innocent sheep. Oh, I should kill him. Nah. <laughs> uh oh, I think this guy's mad for me killing the sheep. <laughs> well, too bad, you're gonna die too. <laughs> Let's just head in here. Ooh, another dragon. Now these metal ones can only be broken with the chart, so keep that in mind. Another dragon. Uh, <laughs> well, he just like went under the dragon. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I will eventually. <laughs> All right. Oh, what's down? Let's see what's down here. A lock chest and another dragon. All right, cool. Just get him. Watch the yeah. dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong, like me. Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, sure. The dragons definitely have much di better personalities, like, and different styles. The original game was just like a bunch of different colored dragons. Some even saying some of the same lines over and over again. And the most infamous one being, thank you for releasing me. Oh my goodness, I cannot tell you. That was like, I don't know how many times. They said that. Crazy they do say that, but I think they have different line, di a bit of a different variation what they say after it. There's another dragon. After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! <laughs> yeah, I love Spiral personality, man. Oh, there's a little area down here. And if we collect these gems and follow the trail, we should lead to, yep, a key. Now we can unlock that chest that was in there. Turkey can also be pretty useful for just like running around, which is really nice. Like if you ever want to just run, okay, jump right over beside it. Yeah, please save my game. Mm. Thank you. Well, we can jump back here and get this and open up the chest. Ooh. Alright. Hello there. <laughs> Been in there. I don't think the roll works very well. I guess it kind of does. <laughs> you could just charge away. 
Ah, oh, whatever. Time to dig in later, I'll have to see. Alright, now we can go through here. Nice. Darn sheep is blocking the entrance at first. Hey, it works! <laughs> like, okay, wow, that was... Like a quick dodge, just look at those. Just look at Spyro, he can. These guys are basically just charge at you though, they're not really that interesting. Dodge! <laughs> look at that. It's, I dodge a slow moving sheep, yay. Now these guys, if you get too close and don't hit them in time, they will whack you with their sticks. And it will hurt very badly. I believe they're supposed to be shepherds though, so. Ugh. Ah. That. I guess now all that's left to do is head in here. And there's another dragon. Spyro, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump, and try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. Thanks. <laughs> get a nice view. But we can get an even better view if we go like this. Okay, wait, wait, and then, here we are. Uh, if we try to go over here, <laughs> oh my goodness, dude, that is actually really funny. He just like gets bounced back, I'm like, <laughs> and then when the invisible walls get literal. <laughs> oh great, an egg thief! One of the most annoying aspects about this game. Now essentially, you just have to chase them around. And you have to get them, but the problem is they are put in some of the most annoying spots and you have to constantly be on your toes when trying to get them. Now I'm a bit more used to them, but seriously, clearly my first time was really, really, really annoying. Believe me. Believe me when I say it, like, seriously. I might even still have trouble now, but there you go, I got it. Whew. Sheesh. Those are always annoying to deal with. I don't see anything over here. Ooh. Okay, we can get over here. Just gonna search around. All right now, there are. How many gems is level 200? We're almost done, wow. And then if we go to, what skill, skill point? Oh no, burn the hidden pink tulip. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I hate doing that. <laughs> oh boy. Still gotta find a couple gems. Don't you just hate it when you have like a couple, few more gems to find and you're looking around? Ooh, there's one. It's seriously one. It's it's a hundred spiral hundred percenters worst nightmare. <laughs> Believe you me. It's not all of them, man. One. Gotta find one more. Yes, please be only two more. Yes! Okay. You're done. Die, sheep. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill these sheep for that bit. Basically, like, no enemies left because I got all the gems. Come here. Just gonna kill these sheep for the heck of it. Burn them all. Ooh, yeah! Extra life. I don't see any. Now there's a hidden pink tulip. 
Oh, it's gonna be so annoying to find. I'm gonna have to cut out the search until I find it. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure I found it. It's right, you know, like right in between these two little walls, little like castle top right here or whatever. Burn it. There we go, that was it. And I got an extra life for you, skill point. Oh, well, now we just gotta head through the exit. It was 100% complete. Yep. Now we just gotta head over here and end the level. I say over here a lot. <laughs> Man. There we go, we've done it. Just play around some more. Just look at it. Dude, this is just so funny. Look at this. I can't even, like, fly my wings. I am the ultimate dragon. This is the kidding, he's on me. Uh, one thing I noticed is why don't the other big dragons help me out? They just sort of like, oh, I'll give you some info, but then not help you out at all. I mean, it's just really stupid. <laughs> oh, and these guys, they have just uh, say they have gems still, but they really don't. It's kind of two weird things I've noticed. But, um, alright guys, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like down below, and don't forget to subscribe. That way we can see you guys next time.